guys! So this year I decided I would participate in the Cramathon Readathon hosted by Witty Reads. I'll link her channel down below if you want to see her videos and her introduction for this readathon. The point of this readathon is to read all of the small books you have sitting on your bookshelves to bump up your total read count for the year to reach your ultimate year red goal. So for this year I'm hoping to read 80 books and I'm actually ahead of schedule as far as that goes. But like I told you in my July to be read video, I'm hoping to read half of my uh, to be read shelves in this month alone. So I'm participating in this readathon to try and eat away at some of those books. The readathon goes from the beginning of the 10th to the end of the 13th. So it's three day weekend readathon um, and I'm just going to show you the books that I would like to read. I've got my stack here behind me and I'll just show them to you. I'll start with the two books I'm currently reading. The first is Sons and Lovers by D.H. Lawrence. This is a classic novel. I'm about a fifth of the way through it. Um, if I don't finish this before the readathon starts, I might read some of it, but I probably won't be um, aiming to read this whole thing over the weekend. I've also got Ted Hughes' New Selected Poems from 1957 to 1994. I'm a bit less than halfway through this one, so I'd like to make at least a decent chunk right through this over the weekend, um, but if I don't, I'm not really bothered about that as well. I'm mainly focusing on books I haven't started yet. I'll start with the poetry. I've got The Scholastic Classics, The Best Poems Ever, a collection of poetry's greatest voices, edited by Edric S. Mesmer. It's a very tiny little collection of classic poems. I've got Nine Poets, edited by F.J. Alsop and O.W. Hunt. This includes poetry from Chaucer, Pope, Coleridge, Shelley, Byron, Tennyson, Slesser, Auden, and Frost. So a lot of really classic white males. Um, that I'm hoping to read over the weekend. This is The Little World of Elves and Fairies, an anthology of verse with illustrations by Ida Rentoul Uthwaite. So this is just um, fun little poems about fairies. This is The Domesticity of Giraffes by Judith Beveridge. It's also a really short poetry collection by an Australian classic. The Best Australian Poems of 2010, edited by Robert Adamson. I've been hoping to read this this month, so I thought I may as well pull it out now. Ariel by Sylvia Plath. This is another classic. Um, again, very short, but I've never actually read any Sylvia Plath collections, so I thought I'd start with this one. And lastly, District and Circle by Seamus Heaney. Then I've got some plays that I'd like to read. We've got the Penguin Plays collection of Tennessee Williams, which has Sweet Bird of Youth, A Streetcar Named Desire, and The Glass Menagerie. The Penguin Plays collection of John Arden, The Waters of Babylon, Live Like Pigs, and The Happy Haven. Thomas Stoppard's Plays 1, which includes The Real Inspector Hound, After Marguerite, Dirty Linen, Newfoundland, Dog's Hamlet, and Cahoots Macbeth. And lastly, Terminus by Mark O'Rowe. This is a really awesome Irish play. I've never read it in its entirety, but it has one of my favorite monologues of all time. It's not a collection, it's just a single play, so this shouldn't take any time at all. And the rest I have are prose. We've got Friends, Kafka, Metamorphosis, and Other Stories. I've only read one of Kafka's work, and that was The Trial, and I wasn't a huge fan, but I thought I'd try his short stories and novellas, and see if I like those better. H.G. Wells, The War of the Worlds, another classic with a really cool cover. Um, it's pretty small but the font's also really tiny so I'm not sure how I'll do with this one. A.A. A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh. I don't think I've read any of the classic Winnie the Pooh stories so I thought I may as well read this one now because the font is massive and there are heaps of pictures so it shouldn't take very long at all. This is Teacher Man by Frank McCourt. My mom loaned me heaps of Frank McCourt's books a few years ago and I haven't read any of them so far. This is the smallest of them so I thought I'd try and read that now. Um, if I don't get through it though, oh well. And last but not least, we have The Illustrated Elements of Style by Strunk, White and Kalman. This is a style guide on how to write elegantly or clearly or however you want to describe it. It's a beautiful illustrated edition, so it includes lots of paintings in it. 
Um, I've had this thing on my shelf for close to four years now, so I'd really like to get through it. So in total, I'm hoping to finish or at least work a big chunk out of 18 books over this readathon. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but I'm going to try my best. I don't have very many plans this weekend other than going to a secondhand book festival where I'll be probably picking up some more books, so I'd like to try and read as many of these as I can to compensate for that. If you're planning on participating in this readathon, please let me know down below what you're hoping to pick up and finish, um, and if you'd like any more updates from me I'll mostly be putting those on Twitter otherwise I will do a wrap up at the end of the readathon to let you know how I went. Thanks for watching have a great day bye